Hey y'all, I thought I'd bring you along to show you my September grocery haul. I hope you enjoy it. So I got some fast acting yeast. This comes in handy when you're making fresh bread last minute. Y'all get y'all some fast acting yeast. Rise is quick, quick. <laughs> I got some Kool-Aid. I realized the older they get, my boys, it's harder to keep up to get them something to drink. So <laughs> um, this is a quick fix. Um, we got aluminum foil. We got some plastic wrap. Got some coffee beans. I don't know about you, but I recommend getting the bean and getting you a grinder because it the taste is much different. Both of them are good. This just better. It tastes fresher. It's just like grinding your own like spices. It just tastes better. Um, this is a small bag, but I do have two large bags coming in the mail. <laughs> Funny story. Seven years. Seven years <laughs> i've never ran out of rice since i started stocking it and tuesday i did i didn't have one in backup stock and i wasn't keeping up with my inventory so yep uh oh won't happen no more <laughs> now um i get the 20 pound bags and i got two of those and i'll insert them then we got some peanut butter strawberry jam i'm running low on cayenne so i got the great value version um, I got some yeast here. Now this, how I keep my yeast fresh, I have one in the, in the freezer already. So I take it and I put it in the freezer. It makes it last longer. Then we got some baking powder. Some mateca. This is so good. I use it in my breads and my tortillas. Um, this vanilla is really good. I actually have this thing about plastic, which is kind of weird. But um, I take this and I pour this in my Spice Island bottle. <laughs> it's darker and it's glass. I feel like it helps the taste. I don't know. Cocoa powder, chocolate chips, um, flour. I love the all-purpose unbleached flour. I got eight of these. And then, actually, I got nine. And they didn't have, um, what's that? Okay. They didn't have another one of these so they substituted for the gold medal which i love i love them both but honestly when i make my breads you don't really taste the difference since we back here let's go to the sugar um i love sugar <laughs> i need it um i don't love sugar as much as i love honey but that's what we got today we got that because i do have a big back stock of honey and like i said sugar go with the kool-aid so that's what that's for i also have bread flour when i make my pizza dough I do half bread flour, um, and then I do all-purpose flour for probably like a quarter amount. Um, the trick to bread, from my experience, is bread flour makes it denser. All-purpose flour makes it chewier, and I use olive oil in my pizza. I don't use mateca in the dough. So, and my eldest son, Nathaniel, he has really kicked up um, making pizzas now, and he loved making the dough, so... I had to get a couple more of these. Um, I also utilize dry milk. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but I highly suggest you incorporate it. Because since I tried it with dry milk, my pancakes, my waffles, my French um, toast, my uh, cocoa. When I make my baby hot cocoa in the morning, well, I make it for all of them. All of them. All of us. <laughs> when I make it, it tastes good and i don't use the whole milk i use that and yeah tastes rich i got these some snack crackers they're buttery rounds and um i grew up with ritz my mom is pro ritz which is nothing wrong with that but they were out of stock one day and i ended up getting those and poppy and josiah love those they'll get them straight out the pack no peanut butter no cheese they just like it so it's a win-win Ketchup. I also, well, this is a staple. I think it's a staple in all houses, but my son, my eldest son, Nathaniel, can't live without ketchup, baby. And I also use it, of course, for meat loaves and I make barbecue sauce. Um, I got a family of four, so I don't need that much, but I do have a back stock of this, though. So. <laughs> um, we got this. I like this brand. It's really good, but as we know, with all sauces, we amp it up. Everybody customize their sauce. You use this as a base and you modify the flavor. 
um i got two of those um the pasta noodles oh my god you guys did you know now maybe i'm just late to the party but they sell these in two pounds and you also can get a four pounder of the pastas now all right all right great value i see you um oh i also got this light brown sugar the difference between light and dark brown sugar y'all one just got more molasses come with it all right so i got some let's try to stay in order here i got breadcrumbs i use this for like my fried chicken fried fish breadcrumbs i also use Really, that's what I mainly use it for because I don't know about you, but in like my meatloaf, my meatballs, I use oats. I upload a recipe on next time I make it. <laughs> um, I got pizza sauce. Like I said, um, my son has really gone into overdrive on making pizza crust. And we have it. We have pizza every Saturday. Never fails. We've been doing it for years. I and I used to do homemade and then I'll do toppers. But lately, I've just been doing homemade. I mean, kind of perfected it. You do something, you you keep practice at it, you get better at it. And honestly, when you make something homemade, it's kind of hard to go back. Not saying it's bad because I prefer, I prefer toppers to anyone that asks you, like, what's a good pizza place? It's just, you know, homemade. I got it. And it's easier. And guess what? It's much more friendly in the pocket. <laughs> um and you know you get to put that extra step of love anywho carry on so i got canola oil we got sweet golden corn um this and green beans we keep the french style green beans got a back stock of that but the green beans and sweet corn is our go-to got us some um, refried beans let me tell you something i tried the great value brand and i ain't saying it's bad but i'm saying you want refried beans, Rosarita, you need them, okay? Then I got some chili, no beans. We make a dip. We, I make a dip. It actually started with the mom, Poppy's mom. And um, look at you grabbing my soda. <laughs> um, she makes this at every get-together. Anytime we go over there, she makes it. And the kids request it, so I finally asked her, how does she make it? And this is one of our Wood family favorites. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. I keep it on deck. This is a staple in our house. Poppy loves this. He eats it lunch, breakfast, dinner. He just loves keeping this. So I, I keep a stock of that. I got just four of those this go round. Um, but like I said, I keep a stock. So, um, Evaporated milk. My mama, she always uses evaporated milk. Sometimes it's better on her stomach. I think that's why she uses it. But um, I bought it just so I can have it on deck for the what if. And um, I incorporated it in my cornbread mixes. Um, I also use it in my gravy. When I make my homemade gravies, I use canned milk. It's funny, but it's really good. Um, I don't really taste the difference. Um, as you can see, people have cracked into stuff. I've taken too long. <laughs> this is one of Poppy's favorites. It's a must-have in our house. And he keeps these. He likes them cold. He cracked open this one because um, he saw it, but he has one in the fridge. Whatever. It is a nice snack, and it lasts a long time in the house. Um, we got Cheeto Puffs. Kids have already cracked in it. And yes, that is a hair clip, but it's a clean hair clip. I have abundance of these because I do my own hair. And um, I just took a pack one day. I needed to fold it up. Ain't nothing worse than biting into a stale chip, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. So um, I use this because I couldn't find, like, my chip clips. And I'm like, why about them fancy things? I just use them. You get, like, eight of these for a dollar on a little pack at the hair store. So I utilize that. Hey, it works. Um, we got spicy nachos. Everybody in the house will eat these. But these are going up in the office. Those are poppies. I also have... I can get over here <laughs> um like i said we have dips i did these are poppy's go-to he loves these and i'm pretty sure with his palette he ain't gonna trade these in for these but i thought i'd introduce them to him and see if he like them because if he likes them cool usually <clears throat> like even today i could only get one they had one in stock so i got this one because i feel like something's better than nothing but my husband has a, you know, a very, 
I don't know, a dance palette. He can taste the littlest thing. So, um, hopefully he likes it. If he doesn't, it's okay. I also got the Katina style chips. As you can see, we are a chip and dip family. Um, but my favorite is the big ones. I like the big ones. I always have. I really don't like them little things. Is it just me or you take it, you put it in your mouth? And I don't know if I'm just too fat. Like, <laughs> but I end up biting my fingers when I use it. I'll be like, it's too small. So in our house. But get this. We have one kid, Josiah and Poppy. They like these ones. And then Nathaniel and I like these ones. So it's so cute. We're split down the middle. Um, I got some potatoes. I'll probably be going back for these. Got some. I got an onion. Don't ask me why I got one onion, y'all. Probably because I got onions in the freezer and I got some chopped up in a bowl in the fridge. I just got it just to get it. I mean, potatoes, onions, they go together with some butter, salt, pepper. Mm -hmm. Um, My eldest cracked open this one. It dropped. It popped open. So... Yeah, he was like, Mommy, can I have one? I was like, why not? Just have one. Anywho, um, so we got these. But anything that's in a package, I call that a convenience drink. At home, they generally do not drink these packaged drinks. Um, as you can see, Poppy was grabbing his soda. These are his pops. He loves them. Dr. Pepper. They were out of my soda. I love... I shouldn't say... Well, yeah. When I crave a soda, I like Pepsi Zero. Preferably the cherry kind. But I do just like the regular Pepsi Zero. And for some reason, they tend to be out of stock when I order one. I don't know. It's just hard. When I go to the store, say I'm just going to go get water, three up on water, I'll see them. And I'll be like, ah, I am not buying it. I'm sticking to what I went to the store to get when I go in. But like I said, I ordered it today and they didn't have them. So <clears throat> I might just buy them another time. But again, a 12 pack for pop for me. It lasts <laughs> like a whole month because I don't drink soda like that. I drink water or I drink juice, but my go-to is water. The older I've gotten, the more I just drink water. Um, My youngest, he has taken out to his father. Oh my God, he loves root beer. I have forgotten how he ended up trying a root beer, but he tried one and he fell in love with it. So I try to keep root beer for them on deck. Um, Our Favorite one is Speckers. And if you're in the Wisconsin area, Menards has a 20 pack. It's either 20 or 24 pack of the Speckers for $17.99. Yes, baby. They so good. I don't know. Again, it's a glass thing for me. It tastes so good. But um, that's, oh, and then the water. I go get water twice a week. <clears throat> I love spring water. I think, you know, I want to call 30s the shift moment because when you get 30, things just change. Everything that it was from 29 and below is not the same. And I can't drink faucet water. Um, it just tastes funny. And my kids, I don't know if it's because of me or what, <laughs> but even my babies, since I can't, they can't either. You could just taste it. It just don't taste right. Um, but yeah, you ain't got no water. Of course, something's better than nothing, but it just dries the back of my throat. The back of my tongue be dry. I don't know if it's chlorine. I think I read up one time that it, they use chemicals to clean the water for the city water. And I think now I've just grown sensitive to it. So I try to keep these on deck. And, um, as you can see, I crack open this one because of convenience. It was right here. I didn't have to go down in the basement to get it, y'all. It'd be like that. All right. Go to the frozen cold stuff. All right, we have the meats. Okay, <laughs> I love that commercial. Uh, I think his name is Ben Rains. He's so awesome. I love his voice. Okay, um, so I got some ground sirloin. This will be for tacos. Don't ask me why, but when I make tacos, it has to be sirloin. Um, I just love sirloin. It's my go-to, and my family loves it too. So I do a ground taco for us. Um, and then we also have two packages. Ooh, of these top brown sirloin and then i got two packages of italian sausage i don't know about you but for my spaghetti baby i don't use ground beef i use italian sausage i also use the italian sausage for my lasagna yep. and also the lasagna noodles that i showed you i actually use half a pack i don't make a big pan of lasagna 
but it's big enough where we have two servings of it and yeah make i make some homemade bread bump it up it'd be real good anywho i just don't use ground beef and when people make spaghetti with ground beef it's just like Ugh. i don't know if it's just me but i was like it's italian i can only use italian sausage so, yeah, whatever <laughs> um my family yielded better results with the italian sausage carry on so i have the beef smoked sausage blah, blah, blah. beef beef smoked sausage and the beef smoked sausage is actually pop piece they only deliver me one i usually get three or four and they well i mean at least two but i guess today the least was one so i got that i'll probably be going to the store again um next week and i'll get more it's best to go shopping on wednesdays when i worked at a grocery store i know they stock up on wednesdays and sundays so um best time to go is wednesday and I will go and I'll get us some. Get him some. Because him and Josiah. Josiah tell you Poppy makes the best sausage. So this one is their go-to. They will have this usually for breakfast. Um, <clears throat> What you need, handsome? Nothing. It's going to have to be those. <laughs> it's going. Um, I got a four and a half package of ground beef. I usually use this. Half of it is for a meatloaf. And the other half I break into quarter. Um, and I'll make um, porcupine meatballs with one. And then the other one, I'll make um, loose beef steak sandwiches. It's like a playoff of Philly cheese steak, but it's with ground beef and it's really good. Um, I'll upload a video of that. And then we got some pork chop. Now these right here, I am not allowed to make. This is a poppy dinner. He make it so good in our cast iron skillet, how he fries it. Oh my God. Mwah so tasty y'all it's so juicy it's so good and even when um when i was working and i take it to work i would warm it up oh my god it still be it's so juicy like it was just made i don't know how he does it but he'd be up in here when he get in the kitchen he do cut up so <laughs> when he do is rare and that's one of the things he makes so i get that anywho carry on so i got the chicken drumsticks i just got this because it was on sale and then I got the two packages of chicken. If you ain't up on this, you need to be. This right here is 10 pounds for $7. Oh, my God. And it's just chicken. If you want boneless, skinless chicken, what I do, I cut them off. Like, I separate them. I debone them and de-skin them. And I only do that, like, with one bag. Because sometimes it's better with the bone, depending on how you cook it. Sometimes I sear it and then I bake it. But, yeah, that's my thing. Anywho, get up on it. Get up on it um here we are to the dairy i got cottage cheese i utilize this for lasagna of course um i have not tried it yet introduced it to my kids with having it with fruit because i myself have never had it like that but it is popular and it might be something i introduced to my babies and then you got this right here oh my god i never like greek yogurt and so um they didn't have my vanilla yogurt and they substituted it one day with this and I was like, I don't really want to try it because Greek be dry. This ain't dry, baby. This is so good. You got to try it. It's so good. If you never had a uh, yogurt parfait with the Oreos and chocolate chips, baby, you got to try it. It's so good. Um, me and my eldest son love it. It's a go-to snack. My youngest really not up on it like that, but me and my eldest, whoo, so good. My youngest feels Oreos are not meant to be in yogurt. <laughs> they meant to be by themselves. They also say it when I eat my Oreos with peanut butter, but neither here nor there. Um, I got some heavy cream. I use this when I make my um, Alfredo sauce that I dip the breadsticks in. Then we got some string cheese here, bomb.com. Um, that'll probably be going super soon. I do not buy an abundance of this no more because they eat it too quick. And we all know too much cheese makes it hard for you to, mm, you know, carry on. So we have um, this. We use almond milk. My kids actually took to it perfectly. I like it. It's better. Um, I love ice cream. Ice cream is my jam. I still go and get ice cream, but I try not to keep ice cream in the house anymore. It does blow me up and it makes me gassy and it gives me heartburn. I do not want to admit it, but I think too much cheese is not good for me. So... <laughs> Um, anything I eat with cheese does it to me now. So I think I'm developing something, but I ain't going to claim it. I'm just going to eat it in moderation. Yeah. 
because Dairy Queen has the best chocolates I've served. And oh my God, Culver's has the best, oh my God, best custard. And I ain't giving it up. I ain't giving it up. Carry on. So we have the Kobe Jack. Um, I eat this with just cheese and crackers. And then this is for sandwiches. We got smoked. This is my first time seeing this one. Smoked provolone. Uh, unless I forgot. And then I have sliced pepper jack. Or they just was out of stock when I went back. And they've been out of stock out of it for a while and I forgot about it. But to me, I thought this was new. It ain't no new tag on it. So it's been in rotation. I just ain't seen it. Um, mozzarella cheese. I grate my own cheese here. We just do. Um, don't ask me. I say I grate my own cheese and then boom, you look and you see this. For my pizzas, I get the block. And of course, you can see the sandwich slices. I ain't giving it up for nobody. Then nothing beats a Grandma D grilled cheese, baby. Then I got the Parmesan cheese here. Oh, these two. That's why I said that. So I mix these two bags with this. Like this goes in my lasagna. That's why. That's why I got this. The, I don't know why I forgot. Oh, because I was like, I'll just use this on my Alfredo sauce. But um, that's why I got these. Half a bag of each. So one cup of each goes in my cottage cheese mixture that goes for my lasagna this is for our cheese and um chips and cheese poppy loves this it's a go-to snack in our house another reason why we got so many tortilla chips we'll sprinkle a little bit like a quarter cup of cheese on them and we'll warm it up in the microwave and smash then i got these eggs my favorite eggs is eggland's best but i was forced three grocery shopping trips um, to get these eggs and I just went back to these I just it just went into my routine so I rock with these the prices went back down to me it's a normal price it's three dollars but it could have been less I don't know because I don't remember um but I said like I ain't been buying eggs y'all I've been buying eggs I just I don't remember it's been a long time since I actually like sat down and looked up you know when you working crazy and then you yeah whatever carry on so we have the unsalted butter. I got that. <laughs> and then we have this right here is for Pat Pot. I actually got two, but I already gave her one. And she loves it. Um, if you didn't know, now you know. I got a tortoise. Then I got the cuties. I love these. I probably snack on these more than the kids. But <laughs> then I got salmon. In our house, we only have two fishes. And we have catfish and salmon salmon i bake catfish i fry then i got mango chunks y'all i can't live without this i need this and i actually make a mango smoothie that's a play off of mango naga then i got the apple juice um one day they was out of apple juice so i had to get the concentrate they actually substituted it with the concentrate and um i ain't went back since and it's a little bit cheaper but yeah you just take it put water with it it's good and then of course this that's a wrap. That is what I got. Okay, so I just so realized far. that I didn't show the meat. <laughs> like the lunch meat. So there's the bacon. I also got pepperoni for sandwiches and then pepperoni for pizza. My son's on this bacon pepperoni kick for his pizza. One of my kids, ironically, loved bologna. He tried it one day, picked it out of the store, never went back. I grew up on mustard bologna sandwiches. I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> um, we got this one, smoked turkey breast, roast beef, and hard salami. Yeah, I think that's the only thing I missed. All right, that is my September grocery haul. Thanks for watching. I hope this inspires you to buy some things or look at things in the store that you haven't looked at before. I know it seems simple, but I get inspired by other grocery hauls, so hopefully I gave you the same vibe that others have given me. And I hope you come along to see some of the recipes that I will make with the things that I did buy. Some of the things that I already have that I didn't show. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you for your time. Y'all enjoy your day.